and welcome back. It is Wavy Wednesday, and we are taking a look at Waspion's Whoa Agro Priest. It is Wavy Wednesday, that's why we've got all of this going on. Uh, and we've actually got something really, really sweet here. Agro Priest, I think we've played one deck before. Uh, and of course, before then, we've played. I've played so much Spiteful Priest, which was uh, operating on some similar kind of premises. But uh, what Waspion's got going on here is a, a really budget deck that they actually managed to go from rank 3 to Legend with. Um, which I think is pretty remarkable, especially with such a, um, a budget list. Uh, so we'll go through it and we'll take a look at what's going on here. So uh, at the one drop slot, we've got a really, uh, really sweet selection of one drops. We've got Northshire Cleric, Light Warden to take advantage of a lot of the healing effects in here. Argent Squire as, uh, I guess, the premier resilient one drop as well as abusive sergeants to try and take advantage of of these one drops we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this abusive sergeant and seeing if uh you know it's better for us to be playing cards like glacial shard or uh, acarus veteran i think most people have moved towards the acarus veteran camp in a lot of different decks over abusive sergeant <clears throat> powered shield here as always uh moving to the two drops we've got radiant elemental to help us cast all these buffs We've also got Shadow Ascendant, which is um, uh, kind of one of the underrated cards in Priest, mostly because it just usually doesn't find a place. Uh, it's either in, you know, a Spiteful deck or something like that, or usually loses out to, to playing Keleseth. Um, but I actually really like it here, especially we have so much um, possibility to go, you know, one, two punch with, you know, one drop Argent Squire, two drop Shadow Ascendant. If it goes uncontested, that's a pretty, uh, pretty good start for us. Uh, onto the threes, we've got a lot of three drops here. We've got ten of them. Uh, we've got uh, two blood knights. A little bit of tech here. We've also we can get our own uh, triggers uh, at least with uh, Argent Squire, but mostly there uh, because I imagine this deck struggles quite hard against um, against Giggling Inventor. We want to be able to punish opponents who do that. Uh, extra arms, a card we only just recently played with in that uh, buff priest. Uh, and actually proved to be quite good. I think it's even better in this style of deck, because this style of deck looks like it wants to grind a little bit harder, try and uh, make sure it's getting the most value out of each of its individual cards. And Extra Armors allows you to get essentially two cards worth of value. Uh, Fungal Enchanter here, once again capitalizing on uh, these Light Wardens. Uh, uh, we've seen this in, in Heal, Heal Zoo Warlock before. Uh, and we've got the Tar Creepers here to hold down the fort. Once again, we do have some kind of precious two drops and one drops light wardens and shadow ascendants that can be a bit weak um so tar creeper is here uh to defend them all which is great tar creeper and uh shadow ascendants is one of my favorite turn two turn three plays uh and we've got unidentified elixir here once again a great buff card um with some really interesting modes we might be able to get some uh you know extra copies of radiant elemental or northshire cleric we might be able to get some divine shield for some good trading or to pump up these blood knights so uh, I like the extra arms and I don't have find elixir combination. And moving on to the five drops, we've got our Fungal Mancer uh, to capitalize on our, our big minion deck. A lot of minions in here. Hopefully we can get both buffs off. We've got a Holy Nova in here. Once again, capitalizing on that Light Warden. Uh, actually a really interesting card if we're going to come up against like Zulok and Odd Rogue. Uh, we might be able to get into a situation where we can rumble, get some nice trades. Um... And a lot of triggers as well. Uh, and at the top, we miss there the Circle of Healing to uh, uh, go with our Northshire Cleric. Make sure we can draw some more gas. Keep all of our big toughness boys nice and healed up. Uh, the only thing that we will say that feels like it's missing, um, no silences in here. No four drops or silences. So Spellbreaker is just ugh, jumping out. Please play me. Uh, and the only other thing, uh, as mentioned over on Hearthpone, uh, where we got this deck from, link will be down in the description if you're watching on YouTube, uh, is a lot of people mention Happy Ghoul, um, which I can totally get behind. Uh, we've got so many ways that we're trying to capitalize on Light Warden that, you know, you know these Fungal Enchanters, this Holy Nova, they're not actually, like, the best individually powerful cards outside of, of when we have Light Warden in play. So giving our, you know, Fungal Enchanter a bit more value by including Happy Ghouls, I think is a totally reasonable thing. So um, it will be a bit tough as we are, once again, quite chunky around that three drop slot. So um, I think that's what we're going to be keeping an eye out for. Is 
do we want Happy Ghoul in this deck? Is Abusive Sergeant the best one drop that we could be playing in this slot? And uh, would we like to see some Spellbreakers uh, in that four drop slot? So we'll jump into some games and we'll uh, see how we go. Versus okay, we're here against Fordoom. the Shaman. The it is Wavy Wednesdays. That's so why we got this aesthetic going on. Uh, I think we'll keep. Keep this. Seems like a reasonable curve. We can also, um... Ooh, that's tasty. Our opponent have the one drop. I see you. The light protects me. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say, like, maybe we should, uh, coin Powered Shield, but if they have the Earth Shock, ruined. I guess we're, hmm, maybe happier that they have to use an Earth Shock on that rather than potentially saving it for a Tar Creeper. Alright, Kelseth. You got it. I think, uh, kind of spreading out our, uh, our threats is where we want to be up against Shaman. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Is someone injured? Circle of healing. You Do don't say. See if our opponent's got the got a volcano or a or a hex. Let's let's find out what's up. Do have a hex. Can't capitalize on it though. So do we go for Fungal Mancer here? Or do we go for like a Shadow Ascendant? No, I think we'll just go Fungal Mancer here. Let's start getting some uh, some damage in. Even though it could leave us a little bit uh, in the red against like a lightning storm. Oh. That's what the blood knights are for. Glory to the Sindora. Uh, I guess we got to decide what else we want to do. See if our opponent has the, uh, the second Giggly in winter. Do they, can they kill everything with a volcano here? Trade here, this is 9, 12. No, they can't. Okay. We're good. But is it good enough? Glory 
to the Sindora. Hmm, indeed. The light protects me. Death man. Right away. <laughs> I'm sure if we're taking the right lines here, if we should be trading. What our opponent's opponent's outs are. You win this one. Well, I guess they didn't, uh, they didn't have any. Getting that hex out of their hand pretty early on was, was pretty valuable. As it turned out, they didn't have the hex for the, uh, the Blood Knight. Obviously, we got both Blood Knights for, for them playing Giggling Inventor twice, so... We got a little bit lucky there, but overall, a solid performance. Anduin versus Gerash! Alright, here is the... The light shall bring victory. It's the warrior. Now, uh, Waspion, who created this deck, did mention that warrior is one of the hardest matchups. See if they've got. Ooh, quest. Quest warrior. Hmm. The light protects me. Now, is it odd quest warrior or just quest warrior? Maybe we should have got the, uh... No, oh, I'm not, not, not sure. Not sure how we wanted to leave our board after that. But I guess, um... Yeah, not, not having a board that dies to a war path is pretty important. So maybe we should have just played it a bit more, uh... More relaxed. In the light's name. A little bit more relaxed. Out of my jungle. Interesting. Does that slime allow us to actually get through here? Right away. Oh! 
face the light. Okay, so we got some gas. See how our opponent wants to uh tango with this. Pretty well. Jai, what's happening? What's shaking? Hopefully you're having a fantastic start to the week. It's a fantastic middle part to the week, I guess. Alright. Glad to see you streaming and yeah, it feels good. Feels good to be back. We've got our uh, got our fancy wavy Wednesday overlay going on. It's good to be doing some budget decks again. Feels good. Feels really good. I do have the war part, but they can't kill the uh, these two. Right. Yeah, still up a bit of a creek here, especially if our opponent has like Primordial Drake. Best best case scenario for us is they drop a Giggling Inventor. We get to a uh, Blood Knight Holy Nova. And Divine Shield. Don't mind if I... Divine do. Let's see if we can focus on just these, uh, these two here. Those brawls a little bit worse. Back into my hand. Well, how finished is this? We could play both of these abusive sergeants this turn because he can't crack this. Unless they have like fun, uh, Giggly Inventor and get the weapon and play it. I wonder. Get in there and fight, maggot! Get in there and fight, maggot! Unfortunately, it does leave us a bit weak to brawl. The brawl that we've been playing around. Playing around. Alright, let's hope that we can uh, get lucky. Always. Got a couple of turns here. We might be able to uh, get some damage in. To my what is this card? Is it the other brawl? The 
The light protects me. Glory to the Sindora! No taunts. No taunts. No taunts. No taunts. Come on. No, that's so many taunts. Oh, it doesn't crack it immediately. I can respect that. Hmm. For Lorthamar. Okay, we're in there. Protigo211, what's going on? How you doing? Hopefully you're enjoying the week. What you been playing recently? Let the pain speak to me. Nice little raptors. Crack that. Kill all my dudes. Get a trigger on your acolyte. And even hero power this turn. If it doesn't go face. Ugh, it's pretty bad for us. I think we really needed that uh, that bad boy going first. Ah, oh, like you know, there's two giggly inventors in this deck. In the next ten cards. Hmm. Good, what about you? Yeah, we're really good. We, we were sick for a couple of weeks, which really sucked. Uh, we missed out on getting a lot of videos done, but at the end of the day, we're healthy now, and we're back. Building the biggest tar creeper that we can. He's armed, he's more armed, he's on the shrooms, and he has ascended to a higher plane. Third eye open, fam. Warriors of the frozen. That's not decent, Inventor. This is definitely a matchup where a uh, spellbreaker would be much appreciated. Yeah, I don't think we have much left. Four cards. Give our opponent the uh, the well played there. You have best. I still, I'm, I think I'm going to stick by my decision to hold that uh, the blood knight there. I think there are a lot of turns like the past five turns where if our opponent had decided to drop um if our opponent had drawn the giggly inventor and played it uh 
we could have gone like Blood Knight, Holy Nova, Heal, and we would have been in a tremendous position. But unfortunately, that's not how it played out. We'll, uh, we'll try and get the next one. Your soul shall be mine. Here against the light Warlock. shall bring victory. Hmm. Hmm. I think this is going to be a bit of a test for us, if it is Zulu. I'm, I'm kind of happy with this selection of cards. Not so happy with the second Light Warden. I think we'd rather have some options. The light protects me. So our opponent wants to, uh, wants to do. They just go face. We get a really good um, elixir here. I fight. Unfortunately, that does heal us to full, which kind of sucks because if we had uh, if we get these light wardens out, go face. Yeah, you can solve that. The opposing Light Warden? That's dangerous. In the light, in the light, someone injured? Hopefully our opponent does just have a pretty flat hand. And not Fungal Enchanter. I mean, they, they want to play the Fungal Enchanter. They, we draw two cards, like... Seems pretty nice. Voodoo Doctor, though. Someone called it's less nice. Hmm. I think we the light. trade here. Take our card. Uh, we definitely should have set up a Tar Creeper. Right away. Yeah, definitely should have set up a Tar Creeper. I don't know what we were thinking there. We we're just trying to be greedy. At least Chain Gang's not the most powerful pop up they could have had. And we uh, goofed our placement as well, so we can't play this Fungal Mancer and like, then like trade off our North Shire Cleric. I must consider. What we can do is race though. Unless our opponent has like double fungal enchanter or something like that, I don't think they can really produce a, a truly huge light warden out of nowhere. So many possibilities. I have to give it up. Okay, so we're in. We're in. We should be feeling good. Discard two off the Doom Guard. There's yeah, Holy Nova, doesn't look too bad here. Get to draw a card as well. Okay, let's see what the top two cards of our opponent's deck provide them with. 
Soul Infusion. Minion could be pretty good. Life Drinker Happy Ghouls, pretty good too. Just cycle this. No, we'll save it. Our opponent give us lethal. Unleash me. He's so kind of them. Well, there it is. Really interesting matchup there. Really interesting. I'm I'm really hoping that this deck gets a lot of play, uh, so that we can take a look at the HS replay stats at some point and actually see if that's a a kind of positive matchup. Because uh, if it's a if it's a very positive matchup, that might actually place this deck as a uh, like a reasonable tournament deck to bring if you expect um, Zoo Warlock, which I don't think you would expect at something like. Um, you know, a really, really big tournament. I think people are more likely to bring control lock and that type of stuff. But uh, maybe at like a local event or a fireside gathering. Um, if a deck like this has a good rate against uh, Zoo Warlock, and you expect a lot of them, it's uh, it could be an interesting inclusion. So <clears throat> I think the one thing that we did notice is that these abusive sergeants weren't weren't much better than other op other one drop options. Uh, I'm still not sure if they are the best, um, but I'd love to see some experimentation with either Acherus Veteran or particularly Crystallizer. Um, Crystallizer is a card that can put damage on you, uh, which means that if you do have a Light Warden draw, uh, and you saw in a couple of those games it was quite awkward because our opponent didn't hit us for damage, so we were missing that one, uh, the ability to like heal ourselves. Um, I think if you were going for like uh, if you wanted to get the Happy Ghouls in here, chuck the Crystallizer in instead. But if we're not going to include the Happy Ghoul, I think Acherus Veteran might be worth trying. Um, as well as some other options, you know, maybe Firefly, maybe Glacial Shard. But I think Acherus Veteran suits this kind of more, like, gear up one body style. Uh, the Blood Knights were obviously very useful in that first game. Uh, and useful in general. I think two... Maybe two is right. It feels like one of those one and a half situations. Um, so I wouldn't fault anyone for just playing the singleton. Uh, and that does give you more flexibility to add things like those uh, happy ghouls and things like that. Uh, everything else felt okay. Maybe the holy nova. Maybe we could cut down to one holy nova. Uh, just because fungal enchanter and circle of healing do most of what we want for holy nova to do. But then again, this is a card that's fantastic against those Zoo Warlocks and things like that, as we saw. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Waspion for this deck. It's a s absolute sweet one. It's also pretty budget as well. Uh, so definitely get your mitts on this one. Uh, you, if you are watching on YouTube, all the links are down in the description, including a link over to the Hearthpone article. Go over there, give the deck a plus one, leave a lovely, thoughtful comment, as I know you will. Um, and tell us, tell us how you go with this deck. Can you make legend as well? I think you can. I believe in you. Uh, and all of my links are down in the description as well, including the link over to Twitter. It's the best place to catch me, including the link over to the new Wavepool Discord. Please come join us. Uh, and until next time, stay safe, stay wavy. Bye. <laughs>